Okay, this isn't gonna be funny. <laughs> when I was dating this girl, um, she didn't want to commit to anything and the reason she gave me was that I mean, she was bisexual and she said to me, if she's going to be with a guy, she wants them to be fully a guy. I really took it to heart and I think I, I was always quite insecure in relationships ever since then. You know, luckily I found somebody now that's, that's shown me the way, you know. That's a bad excuse, that's not nice. But no, no. So I worried far too much about how people would, like, uh, react to me being trans. And on my first day in work, Literally one of the first people I met was trans. <laughs> I think, you know, the funniest thing that happens to me, and it does happen quite a lot, is that whenever I tell people I'm trans, they never believe me. And it's just this almost kind of proving, you know, having to prove that you're not lying, which is just ridiculous, because <laughs> yeah. surely you should just be like, yeah, absolutely, I'm not. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I, I had an eye for a lot of ladies be, you know, post T, whereas before T, I didn't. And when I met my now girlfriend, it was interesting because for the first time I was actually being very loose and, and jokey and jovial. When I was younger, I was so jealous of so many of the guys. They could buy the Valentine's presents, they could do this and that, and they were just so horrible to these teenage girls I was growing up with. And I promised myself, one day when it comes and I can be an open man, like feel comfortable in my own skin, I will always be the guy that I wish I saw my sister bring home. Always. I bring a tear to me. <laughs> The funniest thing for me is when I tell people that I'm transgender and they think that I am a trans woman. Because I don't think many people know that like trans guys exist, so they yeah. just their minds yeah. jump to, yeah. to that. You think we're drag queens. Yeah. yeah. Somebody once said to me, but I don't understand, you've still got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that surprised me most about transitioning was how much of how much of a contrast it would actually give to everything else in my life. Coming from a place where my transition was the darkest time ever to then sort of just letting go, letting everything go and now I'm on the other side of the world with my fiance meeting new people and that's what one of the best things about it really. You know when I had bottom surgery I had to stay at least uh, three weeks in hospital. My mother, she stayed three weeks. Yeah, she came to my uh, to the clinic every day, she brought me food and yeah, I was kind of um, aggressive. I was so down and it was also hard for me. I had so much pain, but she was always there for me and that was the happiest moment. I've met some amazing people and it just goes to show that, you know, we're all very, very different and we're all very diverse, but that we're, we're all just people. And, you know, I, I, I can attest to the fact that it certainly does get better. It, it took myself to get myself out of those hairy bad situations. And I did whatever it took, moving away, getting a job to save for money for surgery. But at the end of the day, it was hard, hard times that I went through. The, the name calling, the laughing at you in the mall, the bullying, the, the beatings. It, it was me that got me out and it's me that got me here. One thing that I thought before transitioning, it would be just me in a world full of cis people. I actually just quickly got into this huge, wonderful community and actually, the trans world is pretty small, but we're all over the world and we're all amazing. Yeah, we so are amazing, it's true.